to weather and we've got Josh in the weather center. Hey, another pleasant day we are having. Uh, yeah, a, a really nice day setting up and that will just continue into the weekend as we get a few more clouds into the mix. But this is a time lapse view over downtown Portland earlier today as those temperatures managed to warm up with a bit of sunshine managing to climb up into the upper 60s. 67 degrees so far in Portland, Vancouver at 65. 70 degrees. That's where we should typically be for the middle of May, but nonetheless still holding on to those nice mild conditions as we're actually down a couple of degrees anywhere from 5 to 10 degrees for the I-5 quarter compared to where we were just this time yesterday down almost 15 to 20 degrees further out towards the east as we take a live look now out over downtown Portland on this Friday evening. 66 degrees. That's where we currently sit. Winds out of the north at about seven miles per hour. But you'll notice that the cloud coverage starting to increase over parts of southwest Washington. Eventually, some of those clouds diving their way further to the south as the all brunt of the cloud coverage is really out over the Pacific Ocean, eventually making its way back into the Pacific Northwest just in time for the weekend. So now is the time to kind of schedule out the rest of your weekend. The start of next week, if the lawn needs some taking care of Saturday and Sunday, you got fair weather, might just have to dodge a few raindrops, but come Tuesday, that's where our next chance of more widespread persistent rain showers are expected. But even this weekend, helping to fill up our rain gauges primarily along the coast, nearing about a quarter of an inch and picking up just a couple of one hundredths of an inch for us here along the I-5 quarter. So here it is all timed out with the future cast increasing clouds for the start of the day tomorrow. Maybe a few raindrops for the start of the day along the coast. It's not until the afternoon hours that the Willamette Valley will see a few of those isolated showers. Again, not impactful rain, but still rain nonetheless to maybe put a bit of a rain on your parade as we march our way into Sunday, expecting still a few of those hit and miss showers tonight. Come quite clear temperatures falling back into the mid 40s tomorrow afternoon, climbing back up into the mid 60s, still below our average as we expect to see more widespread cloud coverage. Here's your seven day forecast, expecting to see those temperatures hovering towards the mid 60s for the next two days. 70s, the peak of our next heat streak on Monday. It's short lived though. Another round of rain returning for election day on Tuesday. That takes us into Wednesday before we slowly start to dry things back out and return the mid to upper 60s. But overall tonight, this weekend really is setting up to be quite nice, especially if you're heading out towards Hillsborough. That's exactly where we find Chief Meteorologist Natasha Stenbach out at the Oregon International Air Show. And Natasha, you are enjoying the sunshine. I am enjoying the sunshine, Josh. Yeah, it's been perfect. There's clouds on the outskirts of the airport, but right overhead there. Oh, actually, there is a cloud in the sky. I think you better pan to this because this is pretty cool. Check it out. We got a circle in the sky, but that's not just a cloud. That's the sky rider. He's up there right now. You guys, this is so cool. We just saw him take off about, I don't know, it was like seven minutes ago, and now he's up there doing his sky riding. So if you're out and about, uh, take a look up to the sky and you might actually see the sky rider. I, I'm going to guess that he might be making a smiley face. Hopefully he does. That was pretty cool. Was not expecting that, but hey, we have somebody special with us. We want to talk to Jonathan Whalen, Air Ops Manager for the Oregon International Air Show. Jonathan, thank you for joining us today. You know, what's cool about your history, your background, is that you were the Master Sergeant of the Air Force in charge of the F-35. So jobs comparable? They are comparable. This is a, lar large, a, lar a much larger scale. Um, so versus two aircraft, I have about 25 out here that I have to worry about, and it's two different locations. Um, but it's very comparable to the uh, uh, running the logistics for the team. Uh, what's harder, dealing with the airplanes or the pilots? Uh, the pilots are definitely the challenge, <laughs> getting all the documents for the F FAA and just making sure we have all the ducks in a row. That way we can put on a safe show for everybody. I like it. So I was just asking, is there an F-35 here? But you're saying they're actually going to be doing a flyby. They are. So I have two F-35s from my home unit uh, before I retired out of Hill Air Force Base in Utah. They were stationed at the Air National Guard Base. They're going to open up. Right at the end of the National Anthem, I have two of them. They're going to come cruising through about 500 feet, full burner, make some noise, get us ready to go. I like that. I love I love the noise, the part. That is so exciting. Um, if I could go back in time, I would have joined the military and started over and started in flying right away. Can't go back in time, but we were just talking about learning to fly, and you've got 10 hours in your logbook. I do. Yeah, it's very, very literal, but I'm um, hoping to gain a lot more over the next year, year and a half. Um, I've been working on it for 20 years, so I figured it's time to see the other side of the house. 
I like it. Thank you. I've got some uh, operational questions for you after the interview. Right. Okay. Thank you, Jonathan. All right. Check it out tonight. Gates open up at 6 o'clock. The show starts at 6.30. You do not want to miss a single thing here. They have night operations going on, a really cool kind of uh, aerobatics air show with lights and fireworks. So be sure to come on out here and check it out. But for now, we're going to send it back to you in the studio. All right, Natasha. Hillsborough is the place to be. And let us know if the, that person up in the sky does make a smiley face. We'll see yeah. you in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Natasha. Just she just loves it out there as a pilot. A national